We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. We are back here at Rio Nova Industrial Hour. Are you guys ready? I certainly am ready. Um, tonight, we have a lot of things going on because, um, number one, Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, for the people who don't know me yet, you know what? You just got to go with the flow. This is me. You know, I, I am a music artist, and this is how I express myself is tonight here every Tuesday 7 p.m. at industrialhour.com um, through Ellie Talk Live and um, so we're talk about we're going to talk about music and a whole bunch of other stuff first of all Valentine's Day is coming up um, what are you guys going to do for us that's my first question what do you guys plan I want roses I want all kinds of stuff, you know. I became so Americanized because in Europe we didn't have any Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day originally was made for, you know, so people could make more money to choose a day where people re have to remind themselves, oh, wait, I love you. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, so I started celebrating Valentine's Day because I've been living in America for a few years now and um yeah so valentine's day is coming up um and i have a lot of great music for you guys tonight plus i made a song this week um especially for valentine's day um yeah <laughs> um also um this is very important this show is very intimate this is not a regular Rio Nova show. This is very intimate. You guys, this is between you and I, and you can ask me questions. You can um, go on my Twitter. It's Rio Nova Music, and you can ask me questions, or you can, if you have anything to say to me, I know my boy, Saki Morris, is tuned in right now. Um, he's been helping me uh, promoting everything today. And, um, yeah, man, like, you guys um, can ask me anything you want. The cool thing is today um, that um, I invited a guest today, which um, didn't show or is not showing up. And I'm actually kind of glad because um, I wasn't really sure about, you know, the artistry. Because, you know, we choose people that are really um, authentic and have, um, you know, an authentic um style of music and I wasn't really sure about the dude anyhow so I think everything worked out perfectly because um, yeah I was waiting for a, a, a opportunity where I could you know um, spend some time by myself with you guys and just talk about you know be more intimate with my followers and my fans and my supporters um, so it, it, it worked out perfect so the second half of the show you guys get to call in. Yeah. Um, and um, you can call the number underneath. I don't know. Are we showing the number? Cool. So we're showing the number. You can call the number underneath. Like I said, around, I say like 730-ish, we're going to open up the lines and you get to call me and talk to me. And, you know, we could talk about whoever. Uh, whatever um, I do have uh, one sp uh, specific caller calling in a uh, young lady um, call or lady sounds so freaking grandmotherish so let's rewind a young girl a young woman a young entrepreneur entrepreneur entre whatever entrepreneur that's that's how it you know um, her name is Ayana James and um, she's going to be calling in tonight. Uh, my girl, Sabby Sounds, a shout out to Sabby. That's, that's my homie for life. Uh, she um, discovered her or got introduced to her. She's a young fashion designer and just launched her, um, 
her her new clothing line. It's called, um, and this is why I really freaking love it. It is called. Let's see, one second. Uh, I have to find. Oh, here it is. It's called Roaming Novas. So it has my name in it. How perfect is that? Okay. So that th we're going to talk to her um, after the break. And uh, she's going to tell us about her pieces. And hopefully, you know, I'll get to wear some of that stuff. Um, or, or I think it's a blog. Um, so um, let's celebrate this show. It's Valentine's Day. It's the, the love is in the air. And uh, which is always in the air. And for everybody who doesn't have a Valentine this Friday, this is it. Like, I'm your Valentine right now. It's all Rio Nova. This is it. Hearts, you know, all in the air. Big hearts. I got lots of love to give. So, um, so yeah, let's start off with a love song by one of my favorite new artists in the universe. Created by the one and only God. His name is called Twin Shadow. And the song is called Old Love, New Love. Check this out. This guy has an amazing voice. Check it out. Let's go. An old love called me yesterday. Mm. And she sounds so sweet. Oh, she, she sounds so, 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 Ooh, 
That was amazing. Twin Shadow. I freaking love you. You are so dope. Um, so please, yeah, on my Twitter. Oh, by the way, I need some background music here. This is too, is, is, I'm in my zone. I, you know. Um, please stop spamming my freaking Twitter. If you're not tuned in to industrialhour.com, get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Or else I call my mob and they'll take care of you. Um, so, yeah, Saki Morris is tuned in. Shout out to my girl, Savvy. She's sick. Or, you know, she's just not all the way well. So we hope she feels better. Um, yeah, I'm glad I'm hijacking this station tonight because um, I have a few more things that I want to talk to you guys about and share, you know. Let me put on my sexy voice for this Valentine's Day, you know, thing. Um, what else? Oh, shoot. My friend, um, Lena and Sash, those are our friends. They're our homies. They're in Russia right now at the Olympics. They are um, out there representing. And, uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a shout out and uh, really proud of you guys, you know, doing, doing your thing. You know, and um, yeah, man, this is really exciting. I watched all these freaking, you know, uh, ice sports. We watched uh, skating artists, and I was just like, holy crap. Like, how do they even do that stuff? Um, and, um, oh, by the way, so Twin Shadow was born in the Dominican Republic, came to Brooklyn, and just took over. That's his story. Um I want Twin Shadow to come on this show because I feel like um, I could have a really good conversation with him because we, we actually like the same music. Um, we're really into synth pop and synthesizers and, you know, just electronic and all the um, beginnings of electronic music and all that stuff. So I think Twin Shadow and I would get along really well. Um, Let's see on Twitter what's going on here. Is anybody asking any questions or no? No. But Saki Morris is tweeting. Uh, oh, he can't wait to hear my new song. Woo. Well, a little. it takes a little more time, but uh, I will drop the song tonight. Um, just a little experimental um, piece that I've made. But first, I want to play... Another thing, so when I make music, um, a lot of people ask me, how do you, when you write, how do you write? To be honest, sometimes, like, I hear stuff in my sleep, or I hear stuff in my, like, just walking around, or, you know, um, I don't know, I hear melodies. My, I'm a melody person, and then when I get the feeling of the melody, that's when my, the theme comes to the song. Like, I get, get a really... Um, strong energy somehow and then I get the feeling for the song like for example if I have like a really strong bass line by the way I do write a lot over bass lines I don't know for me that the bass line just sets the tone of the song so what I usually do I'll just play a bass line and write the whole song um, oh I see um, he's telling me we have a caller but you have to hold on please hold on at 7.30, at 7.30, we're going to accept calls. So hold your horses, all of them. Hold them tight. Hold your horses. Because 7.30, you're going to be able to call in and talk to me. So just stay tuned. I'll play a few more songs, and then you can you can call in, and we can talk. Um, what I wanted to say, so usually I do like a bass line, and that's how I, I write my songs. So... If for the next song that I'm going to play, listen closely to the bass line because the bass line is really like headlining the track. And um, if you only heard the bass line, what song would you make over this bass line? It's called The Human League. Um, the song is called Night People and um, really bass line synthesizer driven. Check it out. It's amazing.
peace. Night People by the Human League. If you don't know who the Human League is, man, you got to do your research. They uh, they are um, a band from the UK. They have been uh, popular before we were born uh, in the 80s. But um, I always like to go back to, you know, back in the day because I feel like everybody's inspiration comes from a prior inspiration. So, you know, uh, like people have rock bands from the 70s, from the 80s. My whole thing is Depeche Mode, the electronic scene from like since it started. I've researched every... When I decided to do electronic music, I freaking researched any band there is and how it started and how they did it and do watch documentaries i was ups i'm obsessed with it like i'm literally obsessed um so yeah um that was amazing by the way you know i'm not really a mean girl as you already can tell like i i'm pretty nice you know i have a heart i'm hard-headed you know that's why i even started this show because i was like you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do me and don't care about whatever else so but there's a dude out there that cracks me up um on the breakfast club um charlie main i don't know if i even say it right charlie man charlie man charlamagne charlemagne charlemagne that's his italian name charlemagne um 
I freaking love him. He's so controversial. Um, I will not go in there and give him an interview about my music, though. Like, I will not do that. Maybe I will. Because I think he would actually appreciate a chick like me who doesn't, you know, build her fame off of, you know, tits and ass, you know. Um, I think he would probably appreciate a classy girl. I don't know. Would you? I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, he's pretty freaking mean, dude. Like, I saw Kanye West in there struggling. And, you know, Kanye West has freaking mouth. Like, he can defend himself. But he was struggling in there. Like, no joke. And I love Kanye. I'm a huge fan. Um, yeah, so, so, um, I love that show as well. Um, Let's see what's going on on my Twitter. Nothing. Like, where are... Are people not on Twitter anymore? Is Twitter dead? Let me tweet this. Is Twitter dead? Is Twitter dead? So, um, next thing I'm going to play before... Listen, in eight minutes, we're going to take callers. In eight minutes. Get your cell phones ready in eight minutes i hope someone is gonna call to be honest i really freaking hope so stop laughing over there um in eight minutes we have uh callers um but before that it's time for song of the week song of the week hell yeah okay um here is, let me tell you first, before we even play the song, don't play the song yet. Um, this song, everybody's going to do like, oh, happy when Valentine's Day, or whatever, you know. They're going to do something like happy, you know, corny. So I don't want to do that. I wanted to do something like real dark and a little bit sexy, you know. Um, so, you know, when you feel like, you know, that someone you're actually really addicted to that dude or that girl per se you know but you know you don't really know why you love him that much or her or whatever you know it is but you're like dude i just it's like a poison you 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 know it's like it's like a little bit bad for you but you still go for it and you know you love it so much you don't know why it's just dangerous and you know i don't know it's just uh not really good for you but you still go for it because it's a poison it's like you you're aware of it you're like F i don't really know what else to do so um you're in con you're in control but you know you you sometimes you just kind of like all right I'll, I'll i'll close one eye um so this song is called poison and uh, I made this last week over a Bauhaus track. Bauhaus is uh, one of the great, great dark, dark bands. Um, I don't even know, I didn't even research enough to see um, um, when they were formed. Um, but um, yeah, so let's check it out. It's called Poison, just for you guys. This is for all my supporters. Check it out. Boy. 
poison. I don't wanna quit. I'll pick my poison. I'm aware of it. I'll pick my poison. I don't wanna quit. I'll pick my poison. I'm aware of it. I'll pick my poison. I don't wanna quit. I'll pick my poison. I'm aware of it. I'll pick my poison. I don't wanna quit. You're the one I don't wanna quit. You're the one I don't wanna quit. You're the one I don't wanna quit. Hey everybody, it's your man Sabir Bay back on your airwaves, inviting you to join us every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Sabir Bay Show, discussing history, law, and hip hop. Every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Sabir Bay Show, exclusively on latalklive.com. You also can catch us on iTunes Radio and RB, Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch us and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. What's up? It's your girls, Forbidden Forbidden Gems, Gems, inviting you to join us every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. sharp for the hottest, livest talk show, Forbidden Tuesdays. Join us as we expose the new generation of love and dating, all the craziest entertainment news, and the wildest on-air interviews with the hottest artists. So don't forget to tune in to Forbidden Forbidden Tuesdays Tuesdays every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. exclusively on LATalkLive.com and the LA Talk Live Broadcast Network. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality Radio for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. You ready? We did it! Finally. Hi, this is Dr. Levi, your fitness doctor, making a personal house call, inviting you to join me Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific for my all-new show, The Dr. Levi Show. Join us as we discuss fitness, health, and well-being, including emotional and spiritual health. So don't forget to tune in to The Dr. Levi Show every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, exclusively on latalklive.com and the Talk Live Broadcast Network. You can also catch us on iTunes, Radio R&B, or watch us on Ustream.tv, or catch us on the Live 365 Network. And now on Radio Flag and Stitcher Radio. Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live. And we are more than just talk. Hey. Yeah, we're back. Rio Nova in the house. The European woman. Um, okay, so first of all, we got some Twitter action going on. Um, we have Paulette, Paulette Clagon. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm just putting my own swag to it. Um, is tuned in now. Uh, yeah, Ali Talk Live. She, yeah. Tuned in. Let's do this. Also, Saki Morris is saying he loves my new song, which I am so glad about. Um, later on, um, I don't know if it's up yet, but if not right now, later on there will be um, my song Poison will be able uh, for download. Um, and you can go on my SoundCloud, which is soundcloud.com slash 
Rio Nova Music. That is my SoundCloud. Um, and you can download it for free. I'm giving away music. I'll go home, produce, sing, write my ass off, and then I give it to you for free. Isn't that great? Um, this is my special gift for Valentine's Day. The romantic, beautiful Valentine's Day. So, now is the time you can call in. Um, the number is um, underneath, right? Is showing. So now you could call in if you have any questions for me um, about writing music, about um, you know anything you like. Um, you can call me and um, we could talk about it. Even if you have, if you're a young artist and, and you know you have any questions about. Um, you know, how to write a song, how to get on, even though I'm still trying to get on. So, you know, uh, my my biggest advice is definitely just do you and not care. Express yourself up and down and don't care what anybody else says. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, Paulette likes. Oh, we have a caller. Yeah. Hello. Is this Rio Nova? Yes, it is. Who is this? Hi, my name's Heather. Oh my God, Heather! I love your show. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. How do you like the show? It's great. I missed the beginning of this one because I was at an event, but I oh, wanted okay. to call in to check in. Wow, this is so awesome. Thank you, Heather. Lovely. Yes. Um, are you a fan of Rio Nova and IndustrialHour.com? Love it. Love it. I'm okay. Into the whole. Um, music scene and right. you know the the new music wave. So oh, cool. I wanted to call in. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much, Heather. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're gonna keep you know uh, tuning into um, our show and enjoy. Um, yeah, enjoy what I do, you know, and I hope um, also go online and download uh, Poison, the new song that I just dropped. Uh, we'll be Absolutely. available. Cool. Heather, I thank you so any, much. I love anyone who represents girl power. And, oh, I'm you know, all about it, girl. Women. Yeah, I'm out mm -hmm. here like a soldier, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm yep. fighting. I'm, you know, I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm standing here for you guys, you know, like, let's do Absolutely. this, man. We can, we can rule the world. Yes, we, we can. can. Yes, That's girl. We need more, more girls like you. Oh, thank to you. Spread the message and you know, reach out to the young girls and Aww, tell don't them, don't tell make them how me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. Yes, absolutely. I'm all about it, man. Girls, we yes, can do girl this. Girl power. That's right. Girl power, Heather. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank absolutely. you, Heather. Thank you right. so much for your show. Yes. Yay! Okay. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm so glad I got to call in. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Heather. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Wow, that was so amazing. Okay, who else? I'm now. I'm. I'm getting excited because now I feel like what I'm doing actually means something to somebody. Um, people are cracking up in here. I don't know why. It's so funny because I'm so excited. So what? I am freaking excited. I love when people love my music. I love when people, you know, exactly girl power. That's what I'm saying. Paulette. You know what I mean? Retweeting. You know? Yes. Girl power up and down. I'm all about it. And by the way, girls, we got so much brains, creativity, and I don't understand, you know, I just sometimes I get really upset because I'm like, I like to be sexy. Look, I got a see-through blouse on and all that. Like, I like to, you know, show a little skin here and there. But girls, please, come on. Like, you got to keep your class. Like, keep it classy, man. Like, we're not, what, what are we here? Like, okay, sex sells. Got it. You can be sexy with your face only. You don't, you could be, cl have clothes up until here. And you could put a naked girl next to me and you can give out sexiness and a sex appeal through the way you look or your eyes or, you know, your swagger. You don't have to take all your freaking clothes off and, and you know, show your butt in the camera every, every other minute. It's like, oh, come on, get over it. Um, yeah. And also, you know what the sexiest thing is about a girl? Talent. What is your talent? You know, let's talk about that talent. Is there any guys out there that uh, feel the same way? I'm looking for the dudes that actually don't go for the stereotype. 
you know, I'm looking for the dudes that go for the girl that, you know, might have something else to offer than just a body and a face, you know. Um, let's see, do we have something here? Nope. Do we have another caller yet? Not yet? Okay, cool. I'm getting so excited. Like, I did not expect anything like this. Uh, so, yeah, Paulette liked the song. Poison. Um, let's see. I'm actually wondering that Saki Morris is not... Oh, so, okay. Here's... How, how ghetto is that? I love it. Um, so, um... Uh, my director just gave me the number. You can call in. I'll give you the number. Shit. Okay. Here. This is the number. It is 323-473-3100. Again, 323-473-3100. I'm curious um, if um, anyone else is going to call in. One second, let me update here. Uh, nobody yet, okay. I ask people, is Twitter dead? Um, people say no, Twitter is not dead because you know the social media uh, outlets are always like it's always different. Like, first it was Twitter, no, first it was Facebook, and then we got tired of Facebook, and then there was Twitter with the messages and now it's uh, Instagram so I, I put out there the question is Twitter dead but people say no it's not so if no one is calling um, then we are going to play a song um, I brought a new beat called um, no more what no more words to say no more t no, nothing else to say from Sophie from uh, s the UK um, this is like one of my favorites Check it out.
track, by the way, is Insanity. Um, yeah, Sophie is like one of my favorite groups. Um, man, I could dance to this all night. By the way, I wonder who is going to uh, Rhonda in LA. Rhonda, by the way, is like one of my favorite cl clubs. Um, they play the coolest freaking underground music ever. Um, yeah, so I, I really love, um, I, I love them. Um, we talked about the whole, you know, Justin Bieber thing because, you know, I get it. You know, I'm a young artist and I can only imagine how, f f no, listen, if I act crazy, please, like, ugh. I will never act like that. I say I will never act like that, but you know, you never know. You got all this money. You, you, you know, you have, you know, endless opportunities and possibilities. Like all, all you have is like fake friends and all that. So you might just go freaking crazy, but I'm like, come on, dude. Like you got everything you want in your life. And now you're like in jail. I just don't get it. I just, I'm like, if I work all my life for this, well, I guess it's different because I have a different struggle. You know, I, oh, hello, we got a caller. Hello? Hi, this is Ayana calling Hi, in. Hi, Ayana. How are you? How are you? This I'm is fantastic. Great. This is, by the way, everybody, this is the uh, fashion person I talked to you about. Ayana, please tell us exactly what is going on. Uh... What is going on? Um, okay, well, my name is Ayana. I am a wardrobe stylist and costumer. Ooh. Um, essentially, what I do is everything that you know a stylist normally does, but I also do that for film and uh, in television. What? So I heard you have a site called Roaming Novas, right? Yes. Do you know my so, name? My name is Rio Nova. Isn't that freaking crazy? I know. Crazy? It's so amazing. It's like new star. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is, that is, yeah. I mean, that is, and mine is new river because I feel like I'm like a flowing river with, you know, energy and all kinds of sorts of things. So uh, we have to shout out um, Sabby and Mel because they put us in contact. Um, thank you guys so much. So, so um, Ayana, how did you, because, you know, I'm all about girl power and about independence and, you know, I'm kind of like the chick that goes against the flow of the girls that, you know, only take booty pictures on Instagram and, you know, that, you know, all they have is in their looks. There's also girls out there who actually got brains and talent and I really support that. Um, what, what is, what is your, how did you even start to, to sew or to make clothes or to design? How did you even start any of that? Um, well, I don't, I design on demand. I don't really design, like I don't have a line of stuff that I personally design. That'll be coming later. Mm -hmm. um, but my journey into fashion is kind of unconventional. Uh, I was in university for biochemistry. I was going to be a what? forensic pathologist. Wow. And um, I was in, I had three semesters left. And I remember being in lab one day and just not being able to see myself doing that for the next 40 years of my life. Wow. So um, I kind of quit. That's and amazing. my family had moved out to California. And so, you know, they said, okay, we'll take some time. Maybe you're just kind of burnt out because I've been going to school. Yeah, for yeah. Maybe you so just need long. a break, you know. Yeah, so they were like, you know, maybe just come out and take a break. And mm -hmm. on that, I decided to start a blog, um, just a little fashion blog. Mm -hmm. I was a my moonlighting job was a store manager uh, for American Apparel. Wow. So, okay. You know, I was just kind of like, okay, well, let me start a fashion blog. A lot of celebs come into my store. Let me just kind of talk about what what goes on. Um, started a blog. The blog started to take off. Mm -hmm. I began getting phone calls. Um, it was between a group of um, myself and a group of like friends that I went to college with, um, we all had different specialties um, when it comes to personal style and lifestyle. Mm. Um, so it started to take off. We started getting phone calls. Can you come to our wedding? Can you come style this shoot? And I had no idea what it was. I was having to take off work. You know, I had a little BS part-time job. Um, mm. So I'm taking off work. 
Feel and you. it got to the point where my job was saying, well, you're either here or you're not. So I was like, oh, well, I'm not here. Well, yeah, because yeah. you, you're just using me anyhow. So for a low pay, right? Exactly. <laughs> and I feel you, know, you man. I'm, I have plenty of those, too. That's amazing, <laughs> dude. Like that, that, that story right there is, is uh, very inspiring, you know, even like to me. You know, because because like it takes courage, man. It takes courage to say, well, I'm going to leave this safe place right here where I could have a career that sucks and that, you know, I really would be unhappy about. Right. And just start something from scratch and just take a risk and put myself out there. That's amazing. Right. Um, I'm going to definitely encourage, you know, all women to do that. All women to step outside yeah. the box. Yes, Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. As women, we're we're pegged and we're kind of like we're kind of told this way that we're supposed to be and how we're supposed to look and how we're supposed to carry ourselves. And you know, we're not monolithic. We're not one dimensional. So, yeah. For me, I mean, it was a whole experience. It's it's. I feel like because because I'm a nerd, so I love to learn. Obviously, I was in school mm. for biochemistry, so you know, studying isn't something that is foreign to me. Um, but I feel like with what I'm doing, because I'm so new to it and everything is so fresh, I didn't go to school, that every day is pretty much a learning day. Yeah. You and know what? Every day it is. An exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, the mm -hmm. funny thing is, I just got uh, a guest just canceled on me today and I felt really upset because I was like, man, I was about to help you to put your music out there to get you know, you another, you know, to get my supporters and my fans to listen to you, your music and you just cancel on me. But today is a special day because I feel actually really happy about that because you came on and shared your story. And that mo means more to me than having someone who is ungrateful here, you know, not even taking this <laughs> opportunity real. And, th you know, like, like this is real, man. Like you mm -hmm. and I actually want to meet you and I want to see your designs and see what we can do. I'm all about, you know, the universe putting people together. And, um, you know, my friend Sabi is one of the firm believers of that as well. And, and I'm sure For Mel sure. is too, you know. So, man, mm -hmm. we need to get together and look at the pieces because, you know, I'm European, so I'm all about the fashion, you know. So yes. let's get together. Yes. Let's do something. Let's change the world. Let's do it. For sure. For sure. Cool. Thank you so much for, um, you know, having me on yeah. and me share my story. And can we, can we also shout out your website called Roaming sure. Novas, um, right? Well, my personal website for my styling is uh, that Ayana J. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a y a n n a j dot com. That's where okay. you can see the work that I do. Mm -hmm. um, my boutique, it's uh, it's a baby boutique. We just opened last month, um, and that is called Roaming Novas. R o a m i n g n o v a s dot com. Right. An amazing sale. So go ahead and get you a cute little freaking dress. I, you know Friday. what? <laughs> I definitely will, girl. I will. Yes. And I am just tweeting your website right now. Um, you guys go on her website and check out her fashion. And hopefully in the future, we'll be working on something crazy together. Let's, you know, for let's sure, do it. Thank you sure. so I much. You. Ayana, thank you so much for calling in. And I can't wait to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. girl. Bye bye. All right. Oh, we have another caller. Come on, come on in, come on. Who is on the phone? Who is it? Oh, someone hang up. Call again right now. I had another caller. I'm sad. Where are you? Call again. Call again. Okay, so that was amazing, you guys. I'm very uh, glad that... Um, Ayana called in and shared her story. So what that means is that, you know, we could do whatever we want. And I mean it. Like, if you are in a position where you're doing something that you don't want to do, guess what? No one is putting a gun to your face. And if they do, shoot them. But no one is putting a gun to your face. No one is, you know... Do we have a caller? We have a caller! Hello? Someone is singing. Hello? Hello? Okay, that was hilarious. Who the hell was that? Someone just called <laughs> and sang in. I don't know. Okay, thank you. I like your melody. Gang a lot. Gang a lot. La la la. 
Um, well, I guess um, we're done um, pretty much. Um, what I wanted to say is, man, I'm out here. I'm putting myself out there, expressing myself. Go on my SoundCloud. Get my song called Poison. Um, next week, we are going to have a star in the building. I can't tell you yet who it is. But we will have a real freaking star in the building. Um, gra- I'm talking about Grammy Awards. I'm talking about 10 years into making. I'm talking about, you know, a whole bunch of... I can't tell you! I wish I could. I can't tell you. But, um, like I said, I just started this radio show because I'm a musician. I, you know, I, I put myself out there. And, you know, so, you know, if I could do this, you could do whatever you want. That's all I'm saying. Um, happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys. Um, Saki Morris, thank you so much. Um, Paulette, thank you so much. Sappy, thank you so much. Nick, Tony, thank you so much. Heather, the caller, thank you so much. Um, I'm blessed and I can't wait for next week. Um, happy Valentine's to everybody. I hope you enjoyed this show. It was a little more intimate and I hope, you know, getting to know me, you know, is uh is going uh to to be helpful for you guys to to understand what i'm doing here um at, at this point um industrial hour is over for today um industrialhour.com don't forget to tune in next week next tuesday 7 p.m i love you guys and happy valentine's day